Okay, Justin, we're going to walk you and everybody else through how I start up Rise of the Tomb Raider. In Vorpex 3D Stereoscopic. Okay, first thing we're doing, we're just sitting here. I'm going to start up Vorpex. I'm going to load it. I already have my Oculus running. The only thing else I have running is my uh, OBS so I can record this. We are started. We are going to now open the configuration. We're going to go to general and device selection. Of course I have it on Oculus Rift so you'll want to put it on Steam VR for the Vive. Uh, I do not worry the device settings. You built an audio device. I turn it off. Doesn't make any difference. It's already set to Windows. I do not in options profile updates on start. The reason I don't do that is because if there's a new profile, it will automatically upload it, which will reset all my settings, and I will not update a profile until I have problems with the old profile. And then I'll check to see if there's a new one. Other than that, I just download them as I need them. You do want to block known game overlays. Do not use alternate hooking method. Uh, you do not need to run Vorpex as an administrator. You can. Um, I haven't found it made any difference at all, so I don't do it. I do not let it optimize game settings because it will change my game settings. I like to tinker and set it up the way I like it, whether it's resolution or anything else. So I block Vorpex from changing my game settings. Do not optimize. I enable op expert settings because, once again, I like to tinker. And that's why. I do not show starts page on launch. I don't need it. I've been playing with Vorpex for years and years, so it just I just don't need to see it. Um... I don't worry about the hints anymore. Once again, I've been, I see, damn near since they released Vorpex, I've been using it. I hide less important notifications. That's for personal preference. You can see them if you want to. Uh, that's up to you. Um, you want to clear out bullshit that your computer, Windows, has a lot of programs running in the background if you don't disable them uh, on startup. So just click uh, Excluded Programs, and you'll see there will be a list. You should have a list of things that should not try to hook. Uh, I always double-check and make sure there are things in here that are running that I do not want it to hook. See, here's a fresh one I haven't seen before, and this will be for whatever it is. It's probably... Uh, who knows? It could be for my video card, but we're going to add it to the exclude process, and now it will not try and hook that. We just don't want it hooking stuff that's running in the background. And if you wonder what's running in your background, just open Task Manager, go to Start Up, and you'll see a bunch of shit in here, and all these programs try to add shit to you to make you run them on startup. You'll notice that most of it is disabled. I have my Radeon settings for my graphic cards enabled, and I have Windows Security Note, and that's all I have enabled. Everything else I don't need running in the background when I'm not using them. So that's a Windows thing, all these programs. And you can have a list here that's 50 long, if, you know. So I don't use them. I don't want them running. When I start my computer, you also find out that if it doesn't have to start all that crap, your your computer will load faster. Anyway, that's what you want Vorpex to be blocking. Shit that it has no business running. Uh, and it'll try to hook everything. Make no mistake about it. It's very efficient. So if it's running, it'll hook it. As you see, I have Toby 5 eye tracking. I had 4C before that. I disable it. It does not try to hook Toby if it tries to hook Toby, it will not run nothing. So anyway, there you go. Just hit apply and close. We're ready to start Tomb Raider. Okay, we're going to start it up. Uh, I do have Tomb Raider Rise of the Tomb Raiders, both of them through Storm, or Steam, I should say. As you saw, it hooked it. And now we're in here. Before we open it up, we're going to go into options. Well, the only thing we want checked in the top three boxes is full screen. Uh, exclusive full screen, do not run it on exclusive. 
do not enable DirectX 12. It will not run if these two are enabled. It will not run correctly. So unhook them. Stereoscopic 3, scopic 3D. Turn it side by side. Now we'll have dual screens when we log in. Resolution, your preference, what your computer handle. Of course, your monitors. I've got two dual monitors, but I'm only using one for the game. Uh, these settings, because we're running it on, we're not running it on exclusive. We're not going to be able to change. Even VSync, it says here we can turn it off. But I guarantee you, when we go in game, it'll still be double buffered. Uh, it will not allow you to play with these settings unless you're running exclusive. Okay. So as far as graphics, I've got everything turned up. Um, except film grade, I think film grade, I'm not watching a movie, I'm playing a game, I don't need film grain. So I turn it off, but that's the only reason. Everything else is on the highest settings, as you can see. Uh, it's a little older game, so it runs really good with all the toys on, you know, even at 1440p. Okay, now we're ready to start Tomb Raider, and you'll see that something's still trying to hook. Don't worry about it, there's nothing there for it to hook. <laughs> And we're loading up, and you can see we're in side-by-side. Side. And there we are. Now, before we do anything else, uh, let's go down here to Options. And I'll give you a quick look at uh, Display. And as you can see, you can't change the refresh. Well, you can. Son of a gun. How about that? Well, I can run a hunter because I have a... Uh, I have that, and it's not going to allow me to turn off double buffered, which is not. Stereoscopic side-by-side -side will be on. Uh, separation is how much 3D you get. Uh, it doesn't take a lot, as you'll notice the settings pretty low. Just three or four clicks to the right is all I found I needed. Pop out is how much it pops out. Uh, it's maybe 25%, and that's all only thing in Tomb Raider you have to adjust everything else is back now we'll go ahead and back out of the game for now and we'll restart it with the oculus mirror so you can see Vorpex control panel bah, bah, bah. let's back out all the way and we'll quit game and we'll be right back and we will run in the mirror Okay, we are back. We are in the mirror. You're seeing my left eye only. Uh, if I put it on both, you'd see the same thing we saw before in our other control, so we don't want to do that. And we'll just go back in here. Let's go ahead and continue a game as we are loading in. Done, and then we'll open up our Vorpex menu and we'll go double check it. And, it's, and running it in the mirror is the only, uh, streaming off or recording off the mirror is the only way that I can show what's in here. Okay, it's a little dark. We'll fix that. Okay, delete key will bring open the mirror. You can run it in immersive mode or you can run it in full, full screen mode. Uh, I do not bother with. Uh, uh, cinema mode it's just not necessary I do like immersive because I like to be able to see all the menus if you're in immersive mode menus work really well if they're non VR if you're in full screen mode they don't and you have to use edge pick personal rep uh, personal reference okay head sync headset sync I use it fast direct mode fluid sync turn it off you'll get better frame rates depending on your video card and we'll want to go over here to image settings content type is normal stereotype make sure it's set side by side and you don't need to flip it it's right you can flip it it doesn't make any difference now it's a little a little dark in here right now so we're going to you can gamma is brightness you can brighten it up doesn't need to be so dark if you don't think it has enough color, that saturation is the color. Um, it's 
up to you. Sharpen them out. You know, I never use it. I've never found out found I had to use it. So there we are. Now we are in Tomb Raider in 3D. It's a shame I can't record it in 3D because it really is gorgeous. Uh, both the Tomb Raider games are very good in side by side. But as you can see, we are in 3D. You're only seeing one uh, uh, one eyeball, but that's what it takes. Whoops, come on, get up there. You're not going to get up there, are you? Nope, she's not going to do it. Could have swore that looked like it was climbable. Huh. It's no begging. But there you have it. Uh, that's what I do to start it. It is gorgeous. The game is very pretty. Um... You see those notifications drive me nuts. But you have full head tracking. You can set it how much head tracking you want. It's all doable. And that's pretty much how you set it up. Now I'm run I don't normally run it at this high a resolution when I'm in VR. I normally run it I won't run it in ultra wide is what, what the difference is because it is very graphics intensive. Uh, but 1440p does run really well as long as you're on an SSD any SSD is fine it doesn't have to be an M2 uh, standard hard drive just is not fast enough but as you can see um, that's all it takes um, hopefully this gets you get your things fixed I don't know if it doesn't work out let me know we'll go back and we'll keep looking to find out what the issue is uh, and I haven't played this in a while now and uh, I might have to come back in and replay Tomb Raiders again because they are just so much fun especially in VR okay we'll uh, we'll call it quits right there ba -ba -ba.